Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can set an out of office response in Outlook. And I'm gonna show you using Outlook uh, that comes as part of Office 365. But if you have a previous version of Outlook, let's say you're using 2019, 2016, 2013, 2010, 2007, any prior version of Outlook should be very similar to what I'm gonna show you here, so you should be able to do it. Um, and as full disclosure, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. All right, well, let's jump into it. Here I am on my desktop, and the first way I'm gonna show you how to do this is using Outlook Desktop. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is let's open up Outlook. Uh, here it is, I'm in my inbox, and it's very simple to set an out of office reply. What we're gonna do is first we're gonna click on File, and then within this account information view, you'll see something called automatic replies. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Uh, you typically do it if you're sick, if you're on vacation. Um, and so right now it says, do not send automatic replies. So I'm not out of the office, so I'm receiving all email. Um, but let's say I wanna go on vacation. I'm gonna click on send automatic replies. Now what's nice is if I check that button, it'll just automatically start sending out of office replies. I can also set it up so it sends it during a date range. So let's say I'm just gonna be gone for this uh, coming week. Um, probably a bad thing, I haven't told my manager I'm gonna be gone this coming week, but hey, what the heck, let's set up a last minute vacation. Uh, I'm gonna set a uh, out of office for this week and we'll do it from 11 p.m. to 11 p.m. I could set the time there. Um, and then uh, what I could do is I could customize the message. So I'll say, I've already typed this in, hey, I'm out of the office on vacation without any access to email. I'll follow up once I return. Um, or maybe not, depending on how much email I receive. You can get kind of fun with these out of office messages. I mean, you could type some other stuff in there too. Um, if, if you were using a, a company or a school account, uh, typically what would happen is you would see two tabs up here. Uh, this one, um, because I just have a personal account, I just have one generic message. Uh, but if you work in an organization, uh, you have an option to send an out of office message within your organization, and then you could send another message for people outside of your organization. Um, so the example is I work at Microsoft, so I could have an out of, out of office for people I work with. So I could say, hey, by the way, contact this person for this or that person for that. Um, but for external uh, customers, perhaps I don't wanna share all those details. So you do have the ability uh, to customize, but this is my personal account, um, so I don't have that here. Um, you can also set up rules for your out of office messages. So I could go ahead and add a, a rule. And so these types of things, let's say I'm on vacation and maybe I really do have access to my email. And you know, maybe if my, say my manager sends me an email, maybe I still want that to go through. Um, and so I could set up different rules uh, where you know, perhaps you know, I get a ton of email, but I might wanna filter some of them out. So I'm, I'm still on top of things. Um, but I don't wanna do that right now. So the out of office looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. Um, so I am now officially on vacation. And if I go back to Outlook, you'll see this, uh, what they call the business bar appears on top of my experience in this kind of lightest shade of yellow that tells me that automatic replies are being sent for this account. Now that I've set up the out of office response, let's test it out and see if it actually works. Uh, what I've done is I have another email account with Gmail and so I've popped that up. Um, and I'm gonna send my email account a request for a report. So please send me the report by tomorrow. Extremely urgent. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and send that to myself. And so first off, um, here I am in my Gmail account and I see that I got a response. Um, so here I got the, hi, I'm out of the office on vacation without access to email. Um, so I, I got that message back, which is exactly what I wanted to have happen. Um, and then here, if I go into Outlook, um, I still get the email message. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not gonna respond because I said I don't have access to email. Um, but that's how it works. It looks like the out of office works um, as expected. Uh, what I also wanna show though is um, how you could set it in Outlook on the web. So here I am in an account on the web. I'm gonna click on settings. And what I'm gonna do then is let's type in out of office or automatic replies. Um, so I could click on that and then here too, just like in Desktop Outlook, I also have the ability to set up automatic replies. So here I could turn it on. Um, I could also specify the dates. Um, I have a few additional options above and beyond what I could do in Desktop Outlook. I could block my calendar for this period. Um, I could decline new invitations and I could also cancel meetings uh, during the period. 
Um, and you can also set automatic replies to only go to contacts or to just everyone. Um, so you have a few more options above and beyond what you get in Outlook desktop. Uh, but so those are the uh, two different ways how you set an out of office on your desktop and how you set an out of office on the web. Uh, hopefully if you're setting it out of office, you have some awesome vacation plans coming up. If you do, share them in the comments below so you can make me jealous about where you're going. And maybe I'll get some ideas for future vacations based on where you're going. Um, and that's all it takes. So hopefully, uh, hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see future videos like this, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. That's all I have for you tonight. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.